it may be the most popular tradition among a bunch of them at the MGK Spark Plug World Finals, the Encore, after we crown the two world champions. And this one's going to be bigger and better than ever. I'm Scott Douglas with Mark Schrader. This Encore will celebrate the first 10 years of the World Finals. 10 trucks to Encore. Let's take a look. The first added attraction, how about this one? Dawn Creighton, who's been great here in the past, and Scarlet Bandit gets to come out and just do some encore freestyle. No pressure here. First one out of the box, out of the 10 that you're about to see, and she's going to go out there and hang it out and have some fun without the major pressure. Every year, the encore has been special, and you know, this just kind of developed big air right there. Right. Dawn Creighton, I mean, she's not coming out just to this place. She's no coming way. out to freestyle, but this just kind of started in, in kind of a back and forth between Dennis and Tom doing X, and the encore is built from there. And we've seen some great ones, but I love this concept of the way we'll go into the next decade. World Finals 11 is to celebrate 10 years with 10 freestyle trucks in the encore. Dawn Creighton and the Scarlet Bandit getting it started at Big Ford Expedition out of Tonganoxie, Kansas. And you know she's not afraid to go big. No way. Remember, she has finished as high as number two for the World Championship before. She's had some spectacular freestyles. <laughs> and that was an easy, Dawn. This is supposed to be an easy night. No, Jimmy doesn't no, want no. to tear anything up. She wants to go out and have some fun. Nice day from Dawn Creighton. She doesn't come out on this track unless she's ready to go big. And she certainly did a great job to save it right there. The Dawn Creighton and Scarlet Bandit. How about some donuts? This is going to try to go there. Fans loving it, rocking and rolling a big hand for one of the most popular ladies in the game. And that's just getting us started. Hey, we're going out west with one of the stars of Western Advanced Auto Parts Monster Jam Racing, Dan Radoni and the Patriot. And you know, this is a great, great kind of pat on the back for some of the trucks that we call not competing trucks that are out here Absolutely. as part of the display, part of the double down, part of the pit party, but now Dan gets to show his stuff, and he's earned this opportunity. Nice slap wheelie, Dan Radoni and the Patriot. He gets out here in this big venue at the World Finals. What an honor this is. Dan Radoni and the Patriot got himself in a bad spot right there, wow. But again, not being scored, so back it up if you want to. Make sure you give the fans something cool, and that's what he's going to do. The Patriot, the nice second time, of the 10 that we are scheduled to see in this special encore, launching our second decade of the Monster Jam NGK Spark Plugs World Finals. And of course, <laughs> it's Dan Radoni bouncing on the nose. A little pogo there. Gathers it back up, rips it into a donut. He's got to be happy with that. A good freestyle for an encore performance, no doubt. All right, maybe we'll turn this into a donut competition. Both Don Creighton and Dan Redoni showing us some nice donuts. Get it rolling. Sean Duhon is next up, the Colt Energy Activator. What's great about this, and, and, and again, all these what they call non-competing trucks, I have become such a big part of this entire event. But you see some of these guys like Duhan really working their way up the ladder. It's a great opportunity for him to get in front of the best fans in the business. And you to be one of these fans if you get your tickets at monsterjam.com to come on out for the double down and for the next NGK Spark Plugs World Finals when we crown our next pair of advanced auto parts Monster Jam World Champions. You know, he's coming right out of the box. You know, he's taking on some of those party favorites out here in Vegas, having a good time with it. You know, it may not be a big thing, you know, knocking over a box of balloons, but it's a party favor and it's a party here in Vegas. The Encore, now into its third truck, Sean Duhon. That was a nice move. He came off the finish line of the racing side and crossed over up onto that big dirt ramp. That was a great move by Sean. Oh boy, here we go. Out of Cajun country, and Duhon having a blast, you can tell, flying around Sam Boyd Stadium. 10 trucks. Oh, he's got a broken yeah, right front he tire. Does. He broke a spindle off on that big jump. And at, what a great way to end it, breaking a spindle on that big jump. Big air here in Vegas with a donut. So with our 10 trucks, it's three down, seven to go in this tradition extending encore. Oh now this is going to mess your perspective up. Wrecking crew, it's Chris Bergeron driving this. Oh, man, how fun is this? Right into donuts. Wait a minute, these aren't donuts, these are cyclones. Look at this. Counting, right? Keep counting, keep counting, uh, keep counting. Yeah, about 100. They 
He's not stopping yet. How does he do this? I'm getting dizzy, Mark. Listen to it. You know, they give away an award <laughs> at our award ceremony coming up tomorrow for Donut of the Year. Luckily, that one can't be considered. I don't think anybody well, can beat can, that. We can next year, can't we? He's going the other way now. Well, he's got to unwind himself. <laughs> Chris Bergeron normally drives Brutus. I guess he decided Record Crew is just a cyclone cut machine. How about that? That's got Hard everybody stuff. standing. Well, they're standing anyway. Now they just jumped up to the top of their seats. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, boy. And we're just getting rolling. Oh, I know you think you've seen Blue Thunder before. You did with Lindsey Wink. Here's the other Blue Thunder. Our buddy Frank Kremel behind the wheel. Wow. Hang on, Frank. Talk about a guy with oh, a no. busy night. Frank actually oh, was man. an announcer on part of the live event team, and he tears his truck up on the first leap. I'm sure he didn't have that plan. And we sure did enjoy Frank. He did an awesome job as a pit reporter back there. He really worked his tail off, and what fun we had with him. Well, he's got three wheels. Eh, we'll just spin some donuts there, see if he can knock Bergeron off his donut cut and perch. We've got a couple of special trucks coming up in this Encore, and you, it's the debut of some new things. That's something else that's brand new here at this 11th World Finals with our tribute to the first 10 years. We're actually not just showing, Frank, still going on three wheels. <laughs> but we're not just showing you again 10 trucks coming out. We're actually showing you where this sport is going with a couple of debuts. I think you'll like it. How about this one? This is awesome. This one is beautiful. This is Medusa on the debut of the Susan G. Komen for breast cancer truck. Oh no, right there she ends up on her nose, breaks a wheel off, but most importantly, you got to see the debut of what's to come. Future of Monster Truck. Medusa has absolutely debuted this beautiful new piece. The crowd loved it. Oh, but man. Here's a debut for you. It's no longer just a black Escalade. Put on the Mohawk, not just on top of George's head, on the truck. It's the new Mohawk Warrior. And that is George Bellhand. How awesome is that? What a party this is. <laughs> the Mohawk Nation has spoken with the new Mohawk Warrior. Look for this one in 2011 as George Bell had. Man, just think of the gel he's got to use on that thing. <laughs> the new Mohawk Warrior is going to be one to watch. And we've already seen in our crowd a lot of the youngsters coming in. Oh, can you say kind that? Kind of showing their part of George's team with the Mohawks. How many more do you think we're going to get with their own truck now? <laughs> Up to now, they just had their own driver. Now they got their own driver and their own truck. I told you this is a party. What a good time. Good looking truck. That looks like George, too, doesn't it? Just crazy, eh? He's just going nuts, man. So the debuts have come for Medusa with her new truck and for George Bellhan with the new Mohawk Warrior. That takes us through seven mm -hmm. of the ten we promised. What's next? Uh, you just wait a second as we watch George do his thing right now with his brand new piece because the last three are lining up. Let me just say this, they're gonna come out together. They don't wanna give anything away, just keep watching. You know, George, one of the masters of the Cyclones said, Chris Bergeron, you can do it, I'm gonna come out and give you a run with the Mohawk Warrior. I wonder if they do that on purpose to drop the ball. It looks just All like right. George when he takes his helmet off. Here we go, check this out. It's the past, the present, and the future of Team Gravedigger. You know, I've got a big surprise for all of my fans for a bunch of racers out here this time too, and um, I can't tell you what it is, because you have to see, but um, I am really intensely just trying to med meditate on this, and I don't want to get too far off on it, but it's going to be, uh, it'll be an awesome encore. That is Dennis Anderson in today's Grave Digger. That is not only the present, but the future. I said a moment ago, truck-wise, we're also honoring the past. And driver-wise, we're looking not only at the present, but the future as well. Dennis Anderson brings out his grave digger, kind of puts it there for the fans to get a look. But here it comes. Dennis is on the track, again, in his grave digger, ready to go. 
So what could be coming next? Well, how about a throwback? You know, Gravedigger has gone through so many generations of the truck, and now Dennis has new generations of drivers that are his sons, of course. How exciting this must be for Dennis Anderson, the icon of Gravedigger, to now have his family, his sons in here driving, and to present to his fans worldwide this encore. And there it is. Ryan Anderson is in the original red and yellow Gravedigger. And not only is he going to present them, they're going to freestyle on the track at the same time. As Ryan comes around, almost kind of chased his dad at this point. So Ryan Anderson has the original Grave Digger. Dennis Anderson has today's Grave Digger on the track as they begin to freestyle. But didn't I, didn't I say that we had three more to go? Uh, past, present, and future. future. Yeah, yeah. Missing one, buddy. Well, I don't think we're going to miss one for long because there's a little rumble coming down the tunnel. That's right. Two Andersons on the track, two Grave Diggers already rocking and rolling. That means all we need, of course, is one more. Now, when you talk about the Grave Digger, it's been the black and green wrecking machine for so many years. So you go back to the original red one, but there is one that's been very popular with the toys. There it is. And there it is, the blue and silver digger. Any guess who's driving? Um, hmm. I think I got this figured out. Adam Anderson, of course, is in the blue and silver digger. Watch now. We said past, present, future of the Anderson on the track. Now, history's in the making here, Mark, but also, and you know, yes, they trust each other, but this is the ultimate in trust hop. When you're freestyling. Oh, hang out here, buddy. Oh no, Adam's over. Adam is upside down. Okay, what, what are they gonna do? What's going on? I, I'm, I'm looking. I'm seeing an official wave and just say, all right, Adam, just stay strapped in. And they pointed out to each other. So both the other trucks know where Adam is. Yeah, more here. So these two guys aren't done. All right, so Ryan and Dennis will continue. I don't know, maybe they're gonna go until all three of them end up on their time. Ryan wants to freestyle a little bit more. He's having fun in that bigger truck. Well, Adam, Adam competed earlier, although he didn't get as much as he wanted out of it. Ryan getting his first ever run on the Sam Boyd Stadium yes. course. And many believe that Ryan will be a fixture here for years to come, and I wouldn't argue with him. He drove Monster Mutt this year and did it impressively. They are setting up. Look at this. Get ready for the most unbelievable climax ever. Oh my goodness, mid-air collision. That was the move of the night. Look at Dennis, he's still trying to save it. He wants to do it again, unbelievable. The Encore, we had a couple blims in it. It didn't go like we planned. We had one truck fail us back there coming out. The old legendary blue and gray. They couldn't get it fired up. I didn't even know that he wasn't following me. We didn't have radio communications in our old trucks. So we were just kind of winging it, but it was gonna be a fountain crash. The plan was three of us coming together. We were gonna do a Anderson Boys fountain crash. Wow, we talked about it, the original Grave Digger. The Grave Digger that takes us into a future meeting in midair. And that wraps up, I gotta say it, the greatest encore ever, and they keep topping themselves. This is just what you get when you're a part of the entire experience that is the Monster Jam World Finals in Las Vegas. For Mark Schrader, I'm Scott Douglas. Get your tickets for the next one at monsterjam.com.